guys, it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales, and today I'm going to show you how to create a listing on Poshmark. So, I was talking to my sister the other day, and she's looking to clear out some things in her house, and I realized I've never done a video on how to create a Poshmark listing. And I feel like after I've been using Poshmark that it is the easiest platform to do a listing on. So I wanted to do a tutorial video on how to do it step by step using my phone. Um, that's where I do all of my listings. I use an Apple iPhone. If you use an Android, I'm sure the app looks very similar though. Still should be able to follow along to see how to do the listing. So let's go ahead and jump in. We won't dilly dally. We'll go ahead and show you step by step how to build a listing on Poshmark. Okay, so on your Apple iPhone, you're gonna go to the Poshmark app. We're gonna go ahead and open that. And then at the bottom of the screen, you see a little camera that says sell. Okay, so you can actually take the pictures from the app if you'd like to just do it directly from there. Or I like to do them ahead of time so that if I need to crop them or edit them in any way, I have them saved on my phone. So we're gonna go to the little folder on the left-hand side and look for my photos. And I'm gonna use the Nana Republic blazer and we're gonna select all the photos that we want. Poshmark now allows up to 16 photographs and I always suggest using as many photographs as you can because you always want to show all the details in a photo because that's the only way that your buyer can see your item. So if there's any type of flaws or any type of issues or maybe an area you want to highlight or design on the item, you want to make sure you take pictures of all of those things. I also recommend taking pictures of the tags in the items just to prove what size things are. If there's a material tag, a wash care tag, you want to make sure you include all of those in your listing. Um, so let's click next at the top right. All right, so in this area, it's nice because you can crop your pictures, you can move them around, um, you can change each one by just tapping on them um, and deciding which ones. Now the one that you select in red is going to be your cover photo. So now we're gonna hit next on the top right. And it's gonna make any changes that you might have changed. So it takes just a minute. All right, here's where you select your cover shot is what they call it. Um, so I'm gonna pick this one, of course, but if there's another one that you wanted to pick, you would just make sure that you check mark it at the bottom by touching it. So we're gonna go back to the first one. This is the first photo that everybody sees before they select your item. Then we're gonna hit the next button at the top right corner again. This is if you want to add any filters. I never add filters because I feel like they want to see exactly what the item is. Um, but I'll just, as an example, I'll touch on a few so you can see the different options that they have. Um, but again, you want them to have the most realistic uh, viewpoint of what the item is that you're selling. So I'm just going to stick with the original because I've already edited my photos. I'm going to hit the top right corner next. All right, so now you see all of your pictures at the top. If you wanna add any more photos that you maybe forgot, you would just select that little button that says add photo with a little camera picture. If you wanna delete any photos or maybe you put one in that wasn't supposed to be there, you can just hit the little X button. Um, I'll show you real quick. I'm gonna X that one out. Yes, you wanna delete it or cancel it if you don't. Okay, and now we're gonna go back and add it back in so I can show you, same idea, click the folder at the bottom. We'll go back and find that picture. It's gonna check mark it. And then you hit next, hit next again, and there you go. All right, the next part, um, I typically sell in eBay. So when I create the description in eBay, I copy and then paste it into Poshmark. Um, so for time purposes, that's what I'm gonna show you, um, but I'll show you how you can type in it too. So I skip down to where it says describe it, and I do this part first. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste for, for time reasons here, but I'm gonna show you what I have in here. All right, so it says, new without tags, or if it's new with tags, I always put that first usually just to highlight that item. Um, but you wanna put your brand name, you wanna describe your item. So it says long and lean black velvet blazer. And then you wanna say if it's for women or men or children's, what it is and what the size is. Maybe one description line. Also, if it's a used condition, you wanna go in a little more detail about what condition that means. Does it have any type of wear issues, any color issues, any holes, any buttons missing, anything like that you wanna always put into your description so again, your buyer understands what exactly they're buying. And then that way you, you have less risk of returns if the buyer feels more confident with what they're getting is what they actually get. Um, so here I even put in there no inside tag, it might've been used for a sample, that type of thing. Um, so I'm just going to shrink this up a little bit because I don't like all those spaces in there that come over. 
And then I also use this little ditty, you don't have to, but I put in here, please look at all the photos. We try to capture as much detail as possible. Our photos are part of the description. We provide 100% customer satisfaction, so please let us know if you have any questions about the listing. Thanks for looking and happy bidding. So, and you see at the bottom that says 17, this is your count of how many characters you can have in your description. Um, so that includes spaces and also enters uh, or returns. Um, so that's how many you have. It's definitely less than some of the other selling platforms. So keep that in mind. If you go over the amount, let me see if it'll let me. No, it won't. If you go over the amount, it'll turn red. <laughs> so you can see how many I have to get rid of. Um, so just keep that. It won't let you go any further if you have a red number um, at the bottom. So now I'm just gonna hit um, actually, I'm going to scroll to the top. Now, my title always mimics what's in the description because the more words you use in both your title and your description, um, the search engines in Poshmark will help your item be found a little bit easier. So I actually copy my first couple of lines here that I think are relevant for my title. So I'm going to copy that, hit done, and I'm going to go back into my what are you selling, the title section. I'm just gonna paste this. Now, you see at the bottom, I'm 29 characters over, so I've gotta kinda back this out a little bit. So bear with me for a second. I'm not gonna include women's because that's already part of the category that people are searching for. Same with the size. I can actually take that out because people can filter specifically for the size. I'll show you that here in a minute. I do wanna add the word new because I feel like it jumps out a little bit more. I'm gonna take out the word and, you have to tweak it a little bit here. I can probably take out the word jacket because I already have blazer in there. Okay, so now I've gotten to a point where I can move forward because I no longer have a red number below the title box. So I'm gonna hit done. All right, we're gonna scroll down a little bit more and we're gonna select the category. So this is a required field. So for me, we're gonna go into the women's category, but if you have something for men, you just simply tap on the top where it says men's, kids, or home and you select the category that you want. So I'm gonna select women. I'm gonna to go to jackets and coats. And we're gonna scroll down, let's see which one. Blazer and suit coat jackets. So you have to look around for a minute and find the most appropriate category. Now the quantity is optional, but I always go in and make sure the one is selected <clears throat> by just tapping it. Then your size is required. So this one is a size four, but you see again, the options along the top. So you can select plus size, petite, and it just scrolls down for you. Juniors, maternity, or a custom size. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the standard size. This is a size four. Um, now the brand is optional, but the more items that you can put into these categories, the better off you are because people do use the filters and you don't wanna get filtered out. So I always say you wanna make sure you include as much information as you possibly can. So for the brand, I know that it's Banana Republic. All right, and then color, you can choose two colors maximum. So if I wanna do black and gray, it'll accept that. If I wanna add purple, it's gonna give me an arrow that says you cannot select more than two, basically. So I'm gonna unselect gray anyway, because it's all black, <laughs> but only select two. Hit done. And then new with tags, this is an optional line as well. I always select it though, but this one is no. It's not new with tags. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a tag on it. It is new though. Um, now, original price is required. Um, however, if you don't know the original price, you can enter zero, and that is fine. For me, I do know that the original price was $179. And then what do I wanna list it for? So for this item, I'm gonna start it off at $99. Now, at the bottom, it's gonna show you nicely what you will actually make when your item sells. So this takes out all of their fees, which is 20%. Now, if anything is under, I wanna say, $13, they charge you a flat rate of $2.95, um, $2.95, um, because below that anything 20% would be less than that anyway. Usually it's 20% as long as it's a higher selling price. Um, if you want to add additional details, I don't really do this, but I guess you could at the bottom if you have a SKU or cost price or other information like an inventory system maybe, you could put that in there and only you will see that. You can see there it says private. Um, so. I think that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna hit next at the top corner. All right, so this is where you can share. So when you set up your Poshmark account, um, it's great if you can connect it to any of your other um, social platforms. If you have a Facebook page or Pinterest or Twitter or Tumblr, you can attach those things. So right now I have it connected to my Pinterest account. So it's gonna automatically share it on my Pinterest boards, which saves you time. Um, so now we're just gonna hit list. And there we go. It's listed. So now at the bottom right corner, you can see where your shop is located. So I'm gonna select the bottom right corner item, it says C&D Finds, that's my store. 
and it gives you all your different options of what you're going to go to. You're going to select the one that says my closet. It's about one, two, three, four, five down. All right, so there's my listing. So I'm going to select it. And there we go. So here it is. This is what it looks like. All my pictures are at the top. So I'm going to scroll for a second. And then there's your title. You can see where the size, and this is where it's important where you have the size and you also have the brand so people can search for that. Um, and then you have all of your descriptions that you entered, what category you put it into, the size again, the color. And then I have a seller discount that's getting a little more complicated. Also, it also shows the shipping price, which is a flat rate to everybody. It's $7.11. Um, and then it also shows what the buyer protection and refund policy, which is set by Poshmark. So that's really all that there is to create a listing on Poshmark. All right, so hopefully that tutorial will help you get started selling on Poshmark, whether you're a beginner that's just trying to sell things around the house, or maybe you're an experienced seller that's looking for a new online platform. Either way, if you have any questions about the tutorial that I just showed you, please make sure you leave some comments below with all of your questions. I love to hear from my viewers um, on what you might need extra help with. Um, also, make sure you like the videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell so that you can be reminded of the new videos coming out. That's all I got for you guys today. Happy selling!